Outsourced manufacturing leader Flextronics is being raised to investment grade. We'll find out more about this rating action in today's edition of Credit Matters TV. I'm Olaf Adansi with the Corporate Ratings Practice, and I'm joined today by Christian Frank, an Associate Director in our Telecom, Media, and Technology Group in San Francisco. Chris, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Can you tell me about the rating action on Flextronics? Sure. We raised our corporate credit rating on Flextronics International to triple B minus from double B plus. The outlook is stable. The upgrade reflects uh, the company's improving business mix uh, with more revenue coming from higher growth, higher profitability market segments, as well as our view that the company will maintain a financial profile consistent with its investment grade rating. So Chris, I know that the company is involved in outsourcing and manufacturing. Can you tell us a little more about our view of their business? Uh, the company is a leading uh, provider of outsourced manufacturing services uh, that span the entire product life cycle from, life cycle, from design to prototyping to um, scale production all the way to aftermarket services and end of life. Uh, the company is one of the largest providers with over $26 billion in annual revenue, uh, giving it uh, a very large uh, global footprint as well as deep domain expertise. Uh, the company also has an improving mix of business uh, with revenue from higher growth, higher profitability market segments such as automotive, medical, and industrial, uh, which are growing faster than the traditional uh, lower growth, higher volatility, uh, market segments in the EMS space, uh, including uh, telecommunications, networking, consumering, computing. Uh, nevertheless, the company does have a high customer concentration with its top 10 customers representing uh, almost 10, uh, around 50% of its uh, revenue. Now, this is normal, uh, normal concentration for the EMS space. However, uh, it is high relative to uh, the broader set of companies that we cover in the technology space. Sounds like they've got a strong and diverse business profile. How do we view the company's financial profile? Uh, we view the uh, company's financial profile as supporting its investment grade rating. It currently has leverage in the high one times area as well as free operating cash flow to debt of, of about 20 percent. The company also has counter cyclical working capital dynamics uh, which, al which allow it to generate additional cash during times of uh, depressed um, uh, profitability, uh, which provides uh, stability to, to credit metrics. Uh, the company, we also believe that the company has enough flexibility within the investment grade rating to pursue its uh, merger and acquisition objectives, as well as its uh, shareholder return objectives, which include returning 50% of cash flow uh, to shareholders. All right, so this company's just uh, jumped the hurdle into the investment grade field. What could cause us to change the rating, Chris? We could lower the rating if the company loses a key customer or if it pursues more aggressive M&A or shareholder return objectives such that it sustains leverage above three times. Uh, in our view, over the next 20 per, uh, 24 months, an upgrade is unlikely due to the company's high customer concentration and the cyclicality and volatility of the EMS segment. Chris, thank you so much for taking us through your report. Thank you for having me. So the full research update on Flextronics is available on our global credit portal at www.globalcreditportal.com. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you next time on CMTV.